my opinion, one of the most interesting questions about Don't Start Together is what does it mean to beat the game? Some will say that you beat the game once you beat all the bosses. Others might say that the bosses are just extra challenges and you've really conquered the game after you've proven that you can survive indefinitely. To me, the game doesn't have an ending yet. Don't Starve Together does have a story, and to me, you can only truly beat the game once you reach the conclusion of that story. Beating Celestial Champion, Misery Toadstool, or Ancient Fuel Weaver might mean you beat the toughest challenges the game has to offer, but I don't think you can say you conclusively beat Don't Starve Together as the story just continues. Because of this, I think it's not possible to truly beat the game. All you can do is either try to continue to survive or lose. The problem is that regardless of how good you are at the game or how many automated farms you have set up, you have to constantly play the game in order to not die. You can't just leave your computer and let the game play itself because eventually your character will starve to death, freeze to death, overheat, and get himself killed one way or another. Well, that's true for every character except for one. I'll explain how and why in this video that will teach you how to survive forever without doing anything. The only character you can do this with is Weber. Unlike every other character, Weber has a unique ability to passively heal at an incredible rate. All he needs to do is stand near nurse spiders that are attacking something. While a nurse is attacking something, it will use its healing ability every 10 seconds. As long as Weber is within the ability's range, he'll recover 8 HP. So standing near one nurse grants Weber a passive healing of 0.8 HP per second. If it's two nurses, he's healed for 1.6 HP per second. Make it six and he recovers 4.2 HP every second. While no character can eat food or gather food indefinitely without player input, Weber doesn't need to eat since he has the option to just heal any damage caused by starvation. Starvation isn't the only damage source though. If you're on the surface, you'll have to deal with freezing, overheating, and avoid taking damage from hostile mobs. Freezing and overheating are not an issue for Weber since both deal about the same damage as starvation. So as long as you have enough nurses, you'll be fine. Mobs are a different story. Not only do they deal way more damage than status effects, but they also damage the durability of your equipment. The only hostile mobs that we really have to be concerned with are deer clops, hounds, antlion, and frog ring. All the other mobs are simply locked by location. Luckily, there is a solution to this. Stay on a boat. Hound waves will not spawn if you are on a boat. Neither will deer clops, and antlion can't hurt you. Frog rain might still occur, but they only drop on land. So as long as your boat has some distance from the shore, they won't be able to get you. In addition to normal mobs, you don't want to take any damage from nightmare creatures. So you need to find a way to permanently keep your sanity up. You can't just wear a tam shanter because the item has durability that degrades over time, which means it'll be gone eventually. So we have to find sources of sanity that don't degrade over time. One solution is a combination of using Glomer with a Thulocyte suit. If you stay really close to him, Glomer has a positive sanity aura of plus 6.25 per minute. The Thulocyte suit gives the wearer 3 sanity per minute, and since its durability is based on how much damage it absorbs rather than how long it is worn, it can be worn forever. 9 sanity per minute is more than enough to offset the sanity drain of dusk and nighttime, so this combination will ensure your sanity is always maxed out as long as you don't get separated from Glomer. At this point, the only thing that can drain your sanity is if it's raining hard and a bunch of items in your inventory are soaked. This can easily be avoided by just clearing out your inventory. This isn't the only solution though. You can also wear a bone helm, making nightmares passive to you, or wear an enlightened crown, which will not only keep your sanity maxed out, but will prevent Charlie from attacking you. However, both require you to beat an endgame boss, so I'd rather stick with the easier solutions. The next danger that we want to avoid is Charlie. Luckily, there are multiple sources of infinite light in the game. Like I said before, you could use an enlightened crown to get infinite light, but that requires beating an endgame boss. So instead, I'll just use a much easier to obtain light source, the scaled furnace. We covered sanity, health, and hunger, but there's still two more dangers that could possibly ruin the setup. The first is lightning strikes. Your nurses can heal the damage caused by lightning, but the bigger problem is the lightning setting your boat on fire. So just make a lightning rod. The second danger is smoldering. In summer, flammable objects have a chance to smolder. Your boat is a flammable object, so your boat might get set on fire. To avoid this, grow an above average tree and keep your boat under its canopy. The canopy provides protection from wildfires, so you won't have to worry about your boat during summer. If you add all these things together, you should get something that looks like this. Note that for sanity, I decided to use another viable method, which is a bee queen crown and rabbits. The Bee Queen Crown converts insanity auras into sanity auras, and rabbits will become beardlings when Weber's sanity drops below 40%. One beardling has an insanity aura of minus 20 per minute, so surrounding yourself with a few rabbits essentially fixes your sanity at 40%. I like this strategy more than the Glomer one because if you're playing as Weber, killing Bee Queen relatively early and with little resources is realistic. And since the beardlings give you so much sanity, it's just safer in my opinion. I use chess pieces to keep the rabbits close to me so I can benefit the most from their sanity. I'm sitting next to a skilled furnace so I don't have to worry about Charlie, 
In the corner, I have three befriended nurses attacking three neutral nurses, which provides me with a passive regeneration of 4 HP per second, meaning I don't have to worry about starving, overheating, or freezing. This is all while sitting on a boat away from shore so hounds, antlion, frogs, and deer clubs aren't an issue, and I'm under the canopy of an above average tree trunk, so I'm protected against lightning and overheating. If you do all this, you can literally leave your game running and let your character just sit there as long as you like and they will never die. Congratulations, you will successfully live forever without doing anything. So that's the end of the video. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video or think it provided value, please leave a like, comment to let me know what you think. Subscribe for more content like this. Take care and have a great day.